and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Lee Sin to start off our Karma Spotlight stream. It's Karma Spotlight night tonight. Uh, we determined that yesterday with our random number generator of just which champion was going to be the spotlight and it's Karma. And so what the goal is on the spotlight streams, if you haven't seen our two that we've done before with Anivia two weeks ago, Braum, or uh, sorry, Garen last week, <laughs> um, and now Karma this week, is basically we want to build, we, you know, we, we choose a random champion, and then we want to build three decks, because this evening stream we only play th uh, th three decks. So we want to build three decks that are competitive for ranked, for y'all to try out, with a champion, and also with different regions. And so this one's going to be uh, Karma Lee Sin with Targon, and then of course Karma Lux has Demacia, and Karma Victor has Piltover and Zon. Um, this specific deck we played not that long ago. I don't remember exactly how long ago, but a couple of weeks ago. I think bef right before um, the newest expansion came out, and it yeah, and it performed very well. And so we're gonna see how it does. Um, I updated it just a tad. We had three Sonic Wave, one Nopify last time, but I feel that Nopify is really good in this metagame. We're going to be playing a second Nopify instead of that third Sonic Wave. But um, our only two drops, Eye of the Dragon. Eye of the Dragon is going to be a big part of our deck. In fact, we're only playing four different units, three copies of each. We're only playing Eye of the Dragon, Solari Priestess, and then our two champions, Lee Sin Karma. So lots and lots of spells, which is good for Lee Sin. Um, but of course, we're, we're essentially playing six copies of Eye of the Dragon because we have these three, plus we have the Gifts from Beyond, they're going to make the moon weapons that go find more Eye of the Dragons to put into play. So it's going to be, so Eye of the Dragon is going to be a big part of this. Um, and then, yeah, we have like cards like, like Sonic Wave and Super Cool Star Chart are ways to be able to use one card that can make two spells, which two spells is really important for Eye of the Dragon. Um, and that's kind of about it. So let's get to it. This is exciting. We got Champion Spotlight Night tonight, and we have brand new cosmetics. We have a brand new board that looks really, really cool. Let's see what it is. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet myself. This is gonna be my first time playing. We're starting today here in Diamond One. We need five more wins than losses to be able to get to a Masters rank. So we're almost there. This Guardian is sweet. <laughs> Man, he looks sweet. All right, so what are we playing against? Lissandra Trundle. I don't think we really need Nopify against Lissandra Trundle. wonder if I even keep Lee Sin. I, I guess I probably do. Yeah, we probably keep Lee Sin. So we want to find our ways to get rid of... Um, Watcher, right? You know, like Watcher's gonna be the scary card. We have three copies of Hush. Wouldn't mind a nice obliterate. Cool, we'll take a nice obliterate. These old eyes still see far. Alright. So click on the board. Oh, you can get some comments. Not like in the black hole part, but yeah, okay. So click on the board, we get some comments. Let's see what our guardian does. Alright, pretty sweet. Um, I don't really do anything right here, I guess. Concussive Palm's really good at stopping an, an ephemeral. Alright, we have a backup lease in. So I can go ahead and play this one out right now because I don't have anything better to do. Okay, so you know they had a vengeance, so I'd still have a backup. Um I don't have a backup karma. This oh I guess this is probably a mistake, because then we could get the Gravitum for the stun. Yeah, because I, I could have just grabbed the, grabbed the Gravitum for the stun. I forgot about that where I could stun a Watcher. I just wanted to get a card out of my hand, basically. Because, like, if I play... Like, I'm... <laughs> I have too many cards in my hand. Right? And so that's what I wanted to do, is just get a card out of my hand. All 
Unfortunately, we drew both of these sonic waves, which I do not like. For the homestead. I will not hold back. Um, I guess I'm just going to let this happen. I could get a deny out of my hand. Do I really need deny for other things? Patience is underrated. I don't know. I guess they can have, like, ruination later. But again, I want, I want cards out of my hand. Maybe I should just let that happen. So double spectral matron. Where there is life, there is hope. Our enemies cannot hide. And they go Vile Feast and I Nopify it. Unfortunately, I'm one. I was gonna say I'm one spell away from. Um. Wow, Karma creates gifts from beyond. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So you're at six out of eight. Uh, I guess we go. Enemies cannot hide. As the dragon wills. So I actually like the Crescent Strike over Equinox. Because like if you if we think about like the um, ephemeral versions they put into play with Spectral Matron, I'd rather just stun them and have them go away, because if you Equinox them, then they uh, if you Equinox, then they just still stay around as 11-17s, and then that's really difficult to deal with them. So I kind of just want to stun all the Ephemeral copies, and then have the Falling Comet for the non-Ephemeral card. So next next rounds all have. So I can deal with three. I can deal with three of these watchers next round. Um, if I, is there any way I can deal with four? Not really. I guess it's only just three. So like two fading memories kills me. Because we know we know they have spectral matron watcher. So if they have two fading memories, they do they kill me? Or is there anything for me to do about that? Yeah, that's still 14. Alright, so I'm going to play this now. Okay. 3, 6, 9. Choose the right time. Alright, so 4. <laughs> Sorry. 3, 6, 9, 13. Okay. Okay, so I can officially stop double fading memories now. 
I know it's, I didn't get the most value because we didn't double up anything with having enlightened karma double stuff up. So I didn't, I didn't get the most value. But. The trolls are going to war. My, come on. And so like maybe, you know, obviously this could be a mistake, but I'm, I'm not going to die <laughs> to um, double fading memories now. Because now I can play, right, because I can play Concussive Palm, Crescent Strike, Gravitum, Gravitum. I can play all of those together. Well, now they can't really... They can't Spectral Matron anymore. They just wasted a Fading Memories. That's great for me. That is great for me. Now there's only two other Fading Memories in their deck. So unfortunately, Stand United doesn't do anything with with Karma. Like it doesn't, it doesn't switch the spots at all, because you double it. It's like you'd switch and then switch back. So yeah, you can you can uh, click on the new board and it sh shoots comments. And then the Guardian, if you like pet the Guardian, like there's normal petting, going in a circle. shouldn't have I guess I just shouldn't have used that deny whenever I did back back a while ago and I probably probably overprotected myself by casting those glints from beyonds when I did but I was worried just went too much against Watcher and I didn't maybe I didn't protect myself against Trundle enough um, no we're fine what is So obviously we're notifying that. And then... Uh, 
Oh, Stand United, you still don't work. Right, why don't you work, Stand United? Yeah, Stand United's not going to be able to work. So this is Alessandra's entomb. Patience is underrated. I guess, yeah, I guess this is just all we can do. I wish I had 9 mana. I wish I had one more mana than what I do. Because I would like to fall in combat the Lissandra. But then, of course, they could just play the Watcher and then open attack with the Watcher. And then I lose, so I can't I can't let that happen. So I can't... So I have to keep the Fallen Comet available. Or, or, you know, like, keep the Gravitum available, right? Like, so I, if I had 9 mana... You know, I, I use that one last mana there, but if I had one extra, I could fall in Comet here, and then they play the Watcher, and then I grab it some Watcher, and we're still okay. But... Okay, the... Pill Cascade is very good. I'm gonna cast this Pill Cascade, but I would like to play something first, but I guess I can't, so I guess... We should still draw, like, one card, right? Is the second one Nightfall? No, neither is Nightfall? Flame. Feel the power of true ice. We know they have a spectral matron still in hand. Alright, so we know this card is a Trundle. Or sorry, sorry. So they have Watcher, then Trundle, then another champion. Um, so it could really be either champion. By force of will. I mean, I'm happy to make the trade. I really don't need two karmas. Like, none of these things doubled matter. So you gotta assume that that other champion's then Alessandra. That they're willing to attack like that. Okay, well, kind of wish I had another Karma now. <laughs> My lads, center your spear. Okay, so they'll still do the Dragon's Rage stuff, right? So it puts that back in their hands. Uh, which I don't really want to put that back in their hand. I'm not even sure if I played the star shaping. I guess I do. So obviously we got just immediately punished for... Sorry, I got immediately punished for... Um... Uh, trading the karma away. There, there we go. All right, so we know they have Trundle, most likely Lissandra or Trundle. Three other cards. Yep, 
yeah, those those free R shards were destroying me. Definitely. Hmm. This honestly isn't really just that good for me. No, I don't think my opponent knows that I have Gravitum. They, they know that I used Gifts from Beyond twice, but it shouldn't just show them what you took, I don't believe. Oh, come on, really? Another Spectral Matron? Well, that's the third one of those. We only have five cards left, though. We've only played one Karma. There's two more Karmas in the deck. Oh, I don't... Because I used that other card, I don't have another thing for my Supernova, do I? I didn't really think about that. Hmm. Gonna be an interesting conundrum. Can't actually star shaping. Alright, so plus three, so we know Ice Pillar, Ice Pillar, Watcher. So that means this card has this card ha right here has to be Lissandra, because if it was Trondal, it'd be plus four. So we know that's Doing that, of course, for the barrier. Oh, that's true. That's true. Watcher is zero mass. That doesn't count. So, when it, it did plus three, right? So the the ice, the three, just the three ice pillars, right? Um, am I playing star shaping right now? No, I think I, because I think I wait till next round, because then that could be my spell for my lease end for next round. Oh, they still drew a card? They played three Spectral Matrons already, right? What else would they have? They would have le Leveled Up Trundle? Could that be Leveled Up Trundle? So I guess I guess this is probably all right. So I think this is Watcher here, Lissandra there, Trundle there. Unless I just forgot and they didn't play every Spectral Matron yet, and I forgot. Yeah, so that was Trundle. Yeah, so that's that's the third Trundle. And there's the Lissandra. Alright, so the cards were what I thought they were. This Ice Shard's gonna do a great job of killing my Lee Sin. I don't think they play Atrocity, right? I guess I have Deny. Okay, so we've gotten rid of all three Spectral Matrons. We've gotten rid of all three Trundles, all three Spectral Matrons, two Lissandras. 
They've used one fading memory so far. They're... So they could have two more fading memories. Not the best choices. How much stacks are on Watcher? Uh, ten. <laughs> So we've killed two Babbling Bjerg, three Matron, three Trundle, two Lissandra. Like how many, besides this Watcher, they basically just have... We've killed one Avarosen Sentry. We basically just have Watcher, <laughs> like they don't have much left. Like Watcher, Fading Memories, Fading Memories, Lissandra, I think that's about it left in their deck. They have 12 cards left, I have 16. Alright, so they're finally going for that card. Is there a second? Second fading memories. We had the third. They unfortunately just they drew every single every single threat. Choose the right time to strike. My Leeson's vulnerable. So I, I have to use I guess, okay, so I can, I can, okay, yeah, so I can let it attack first. I can hush and then block homecoming. This is, I don't get to block this thing. But right, I was thinking that homecoming, I would still be dead, but if I hush it first, then it, they don't get the attack ability. Okay, so they wasted that card, right? Oh, that doesn't... So that doesn't work anymore? I thought this still went off. No, I guess it, it doesn't. It's two recall another one. Alright, so... Trading away the Karma when I did really didn't work out, and casting the cards on, on round nine didn't work out. I played around double fading memories, and I don't know. Maybe they had it because they had they had all those fading memories. So maybe they did have two fading memories. But they had their <laughs> their last couple of cards, like their only win conditions left in their deck. But they had it. GGs. Twist of Fate, Gangplank. That's not a matchup that, that this deck loses very much at all. Like we we are really well positioned for that. I think I you know like I I preact preemptively used some spells before I should have, or at least before I needed to. I thought I was doing the safe play, but yeah, and I shouldn't have traded away the karma when I did. But oh well. Sometimes it happens. Alright, getting the turn 1 3 3. That thing's big. Don't 
We're going to need this 3-2 out here. Good game, Spell Pierce. Did you have did you have two so the reason why I did the double glimpse there, which I I did it so that I had enough mana to cover two fading memories that turn ten. Which I don't know if you had two fading memories that turn ten. But otherwise you could because otherwise I couldn't cover Spectral Matron plus Watcher plus Fading Memories Watcher plus Fading Memories Watcher plus the original Watcher. I I had to do that to have four to have the answers for four things which that ended up costing me like that and then like the, the star shaping round nine and that round nine was like wasting wasting some spells i didn't get to double up with karma ended up costing me um i don't like this very much at all I don't like what's going on here. Yeah, you have just the one fading memory at that point. Yeah, that when it, when I used my deny was really unnecessary. That that also kind of cost me. Yeah, I, I made some mistakes there, but it was a very very well played game. Good good job, good game. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. Join me if you want to live. GG's on it. We still survived. <laughs> but but thank you though, yeah, but you you got me. You had the last couple because you that was probably like your last two threats in your deck were like the fading you know, two fading memories and like one other Lissandra, but you know, like the Lissandra's not that big of a deal, but um Yeah, so that was I was hoping I could have a little bit longer time, but didn't. Alright, Shivana really in soul Zoe. So Lee Sin's going to be pretty crucial for us. I think I'm just going to keep all of this. Now, the Eye of the Dragon really isn't as good here because of like their Challenger Dragons and stuff like that, and just their Fury and everything. So maybe... No, I'm just going to keep all of it. I think I'll still just go get an Eye of the Dragon, though. Yeah, the Ice, ice, shards, were, ice shards are awesome. Especially against Lee Sin. Yeah, Ice, ice Shards. Those are great. What's up, Goomba? Yeah, I really like this board, too. I like this Guardian. This Guardian pretty big. What is gained when you return malevolence? Dang, just destroying planets like that. Sure, I could kind of see taking any of these. Like the Charger can actually like attack through and kind of block Shivana a little bit better. Messenger gets me more cards. Crescent Strike, I guess, stalls them for a second, but not necessarily like the best card ever. I'm gonna just get like this Messenger. Suffer my fury.
Penguin Pouch. Thank you, Penguin Pouch. Thanks for the sub. I guess it's just converting different subs, but yeah, thank you so much. Keeping that sub going. Okay. So I do have a Nopify to kind of protect Lee Sin a little bit. Because you gotta assume they're just going to fight spell here. Like, they're playing the 5 4 and then gonna fight spell. Okay. No fight spell. Break their spirits and their souls. I don't know, man. I just don't really have anything to do. Whoa, Penguin Pouch gift and out some subs. Dude, Penguin Pouch bring in the hype here on this Karma Day. Thank you, Penguin Pouch. One, two, three, four, five. Gift and out five subs. Again, it's a 6 out of 5. Awesome. Thank you very much. Act free of doubt. Penguin Pouch. For the sub goal. Hush is always brutal against Lee Sin. So we know that they have the fight spell there, they're just, you know, determining when they want to play it. Alright, so that should be 7 out of 8, yep. Reset Shivana. I know I could just kill the Sunforger, but I think I'd rather just reset Shivana. And if they just want to keep on spending mana replaying Shivanas all day, we can deal with that. Yeah, it would be nice if we saw Karma for a spotlight, right? Yeah, like that first game, it you know, like we only had one Karma, and it, the game lasted, you know, super, super long, and we. Uh, you know, like, our, our opponent had every single threat in their deck that wasn't, like, one, there were just one Lissandra Shore from every threat in their deck, and we could only find one Karma. But I had the tools. I shouldn't complain. So Guiding Touch would give me a Draggling to block. Okay, I like the Homecoming. Her light is our sword, her wolf, our armor. Karma's gonna show up last minute. I bear a message from Oh hey, what's that? As long as it's Break them. last minute enough to help me win. You call this a fight? Hardly fair. I wish Hush did something. This is just Hush Zoe. Yeah. I see everything. You cannot win. Fight spells. Alright, that one we will deny. If it was just like a single combat, I may, like home may have homecoming and put the tail of the dragon back in my hand, but that being a double a thing with two damage. 
Alright, so Pearl Star Charts is nice. Um, want to spell shield this lease in? No, probably just need to draw another card. So we got a lot of cards over there. Yeah, hopefully draw karma. <laughs> I know, right? Our karma spotlight night. Hopefully we can just draw karma here. Kinda again need to play a spell to get I play Messenger, I don't get to play a spell, but to get a Dragling, but I guess we'll just have Messenger instead of the Dragling. Or Walker. Because if I play Guiding Touch, then I don't have the mana to save Lee Sin. Well, then Lee Sin will have the barrier, though. Okay. I could just. I could Guiding Touch then. Yeah, this is the new board. It's really sweet. Well, I hope they have more fight spells. I just found Deny and Novify. <laughs> Those are good against fight spells. I think our deck probably needs to play some number of Deep Meditations. Alright, like, why are we not playing that card? So I kind of want to keep the Messenger alive to be able to bounce Messenger with Homecoming so I can replay it and draw another card. I could just take 5, I suppose. Maybe that's what I should be doing instead of blocking with a 3-1. Yeah, this dude just destroying planets. See this plant's coming around. Well, now it's gone. That is so epic looking. It's destroying planets. Yeah, and this is like his tail don't have enough spells. I want to play another spell here for to get a Dragling. But then I also need like a spell at the beginning of the next round. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate. I need Nightfall for that. So I need another spell. There we go. Got another spell. Infernum plus two plus one in Overwhelm. It's not super likely they can stop that. I mean, I guess they could have like Hush and that kind of stuff. Is that too greedy or should I just be open attacking? Yeah, I'm thinking about like, do I overwhelm Lee or do I? But then that's you know a slow speed and gives them an opportunity to do something, or should I just open attack? Oh, I don't have to worry about judgment because we have concussive palm. We have a couple other people saying greed. All right, I'm gonna go with Penguin Pouch. <laughs> Penguin Pouch says greed. Gift in the sub. Let's let's do. We'll do that. We'll go greed. Here we go, Overwhelm Lee Sin. Just gotta hope no Hush. And no, like, Sunburst. No Hush, no Sunburst, no... Um, no more Concerted Strikes, I already played two. 
My lands need me. Prepare yourself! Warning, take you! Focus on me! This white flame was generated by was created by the Eclipse Dragon they played before. No hush, no concerted strike. Lease and overwhelm. The greed pays off. The greed plays off. I played it too safe that first game that we lost, but there we go. The greed pays off. So we played a really cool deck with what's the name of the card? Um, Snapbind. Overgrown Snapbind. Like two days ago on Meme Tier Day, and Evershade Stalker, you know, because we were talking, uh, asked about Evershade Stalker, and Evershade Stalker was a big part of it. it won us a game of just having infinite um, overgrown snap finds each time we play, and Evershade Stalker makes a 5 3. Alright, some more dragons. Another long game upcoming. Mm. I guess I want Nopify. I don't want Sonic Wave 2, though. Yeah, so it'd just be like the Prismatic in your hand that you would play, and then it would get killed, <laughs> and then turn into a regular Overgrown Snap Pine. Because uh, we just got a Prismatic thing, and so our, our options with the Prismatic was Evershade Stalker, um, the Clock Hand, and the Scar Grounds, and we ended up going with the Scar Grounds. To chat mode four. Uh, good question. I'm not sure. Question was, did they remove seeing enemy mulligan, or did I just miss it? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. We go, we go, we go. Alright, so they wasted a bunch of mana there. What if they don't have Shivana? Alright, cool. Delphinus has been ranking with the Treasure Zillion. I'm sure editing it a little bit. Nah, we know that's not possible and not to have. Shivana, that ain't possible. That ain't possible. So you replaced the one drop with Doomkeeper and dropped the Lost Riches for Third Harpoon and Bone Skewer. Awesome. Yeah, I liked I like that exchange. Um, I don't have the backup Lisa in this time. If they're able to if they have two fight spells. I guess it'd be difficult for them to have fights enough, you know, with a four or five here. It'd be difficult for them to kill the Lee Sin. Wow. Alright, got that to waste them got them to waste five mana. How many cards do they have in hand? Three, six, nine. Oh, we haven't used this new emote. Uh, supposedly there's a Karma in the stack. <laughs> We've seen two total Karmas. We saw one the super long first game. We had one in our hand the second game where we died right away. And then super long game three, we did not see it. So far, pretty long game four, we have not seen it either. Five, six. It's a little big. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, Shivana reputation. It could work. So the problem with using that Concussive Palm, which I just remember now, is because I, I kind of forgot about them being a Hush deck. Now they have Hush, they get to use on my Lee Sin. Like that. So I shouldn't have used that Concussive Palm last round. This is what we did last game against this. So they're wanting to do this to get the Fury counter and level up Shivana both. Do I have any other celestial cards? It makes moon weapons, this makes celestial cards. Alright, we gotta find some more celestial cards. What is gained when you deferred malevolence? Tremble before me! Don't matter that much. As the dragon will. Yeah, we gotta go for the overwhelm, I think. Other op I think my two options I liked the most were the overwhelm and maybe the Stun. Maybe the stun could take down like a, a barrier or something. So I can't save the Lee Sin. Well, I mean, I guess I kind of can, but then the. Alright, so the strafing strike there, and then I kill them both. And I hope they don't have another hush. I Maybe I just let this happen and just play new Lee Sin. Yeah, I should just let this happen. They used a lot of resources into that Shivana. Cause they also they also played a Shivana champion spell to give that Shivana challenger first and then all that. Like I was probably would have blocked the Shivana anyway. Alright, so yeah, we got the Scourge Lee combo. Give Lee Overwhelm. We 
also have Cosmic Inspiration. And grow these things, which is pretty sweet. Bounce Radiant Guardian. Radiant Guardian just doesn't matter, right? What is gained from the Vitor's malevolence? Banish the unworthy. All right, we finally found Karma. Finally found karma. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. We gotta play it. It's Karma Spotlight Night. We'll it's not Lee Sin Spotlight Night. Sure, I can play the Scourge and you know that kind of stuff, but no, we're playing Karma. I gotta love Karma plus Cosmic Inspiration. Get double Cosmic Inspiration. Yes, please. Unfortunately, with this thing costing three, I don't get to like do this plus deny. Karma says, go to the Reconsider Lounge. All right, there we go. I don't remember you at all. Double Cosmic Inspiration. Let's see what we get. Double this up. Okay, we'll take a zero mana six five challenger. That sounds good. We will also take a zero mana six five challenger. That still sounds good. Karma coming through. Look at that double cosmic inspiration. Karma. Ionia endure. And there we go. Two and two. Ooh. All right, another Targon deck with Zoe Vi. So Zoe's going to be the hardest card for us to deal with, right? Like, Zoe's not easy for us to deal with. They have the attack token round one. If they do have Zoe round one, we are in a lot of trouble. Kind of like the hand, though. All right, let's pass, pass. No, very first card. Very first card. Because it's really the only card in their deck that, like, there's really nothing else I don't think that can possibly defeat us besides turn one Zoe. Because even, like, Zoe in the late game is going to beat us. Vi, we're not losing to Vi <laughs> at all. That's really it. But unfortunately, they, they do have round one Zoe. So I kept the homecoming to be able to recall it. Hopefully. I am the traveler. Daylight warms the heart and lights the way.
I really think this is like the only this is like the only path to us losing. I, I really think that. It was my heart that led me here. I don't think there's another one. It doesn't mean that we're going to lose. I'm just saying like this is the only way we can lose this matchup. Like I think this is such a good matchup for us. I wanted to find the Moon Silver and and uh, Moon Silver this gold, you know, like and then play Golden Sister. Are they yeah, I mean, they just want to trade the goat away and get a gem, right? Like, that's... Yeah, now the gem is now card number eight, because all they have to do is just play two more cards now for the Zoe. So even if I'm able to deal with the Zoe pretty soon, they just... All they gotta do is throw two, like... Um, two, like, burst spells out, and now Zoe's leveled up, and then that's all that matters. Well, that's really too bad. I feel like we really should have been four and one. I it was a it was a really tough game one. My opponent played really well, but I certainly had the tools to win it. But I, I lost. You know, like it's just one of those games. It's a, you know, thirty minute game. That you could you know point to a million different things, but I just ended up losing it. And this game, this game is just a really favorable matchup that has one possible outcome of us losing, and this is the only possible outcome of us losing, is round one Zoe. That they level up. It's not over. But... There's just not another way we lose this. Like, I don't think we lose to Star Shapings and... Star Shapings or Vi. Or Basilisk Bot. Like, there's nothing else that kills us. Zoe level up kills us. I need to mulligan more than what I did. I kept a I kept a good hand against everything else, but not a good hand against the only thing that kills us. So I, I should have mulliganed more. Blister bot having augment, giving everything augment. It's pretty bad. The next ballistic bot. Hmm. 
many spells is that? Six? Doing, just playing that, you know, to give Lee Sin enough spells to level up. Yeah, I, I guess it's the wrong order. It doesn't. I guess it's the wrong order. Sure, it doesn't. It doesn't matter. They're gonna. They're gonna heal back anyway. I'm not really expecting that damage to matter. But yeah, I guess it was the wrong order. So I would trade the Traveler for the Priestess, because, you know, the Priestess is elusive, and if it gains augment as well. So I was willing to make that trade. Yeah, I got it gets rid of the augment on the silver sister and yeah, yeah it is six mana to replay it. That's really too bad. That In the end. Okay, so we only ended up going two and three with Karma Leeson. Um but yeah, there were just some circumstances and it just you know, this was just uh it's just kinda one of those things, you know. This is a, a really good deck. If you like control decks, I would recommend it because I really think that we should have gone four and one, um, or at least like especially like with the matchups that we had, it should have been like I think that I'm I'm very confident in winning four of those five matchups most of the time. Now we did lose two of them this time. You're not going to win any matchups, even matchups you think you're very favored in. You're not going to win them 100 percent of the time. Like the Watcher matchup, that was a really good game. That first game, uh, real really back and forth. Um, you know, a good 30 minute game. And I just, I didn't get maximum value out of every single card that I had. And my opponent found every single one of their threats with, st with still 12 cards left in their deck. Unfortunately, like, you know, just one of those fading memories or one of those spectral matrons or, you know, anything, a trundle, a spectral matron, a, a fading memory, anything like in the bottom, even 10 cards, right? Like just give us a couple of more rounds. I think we have that pretty handily, but they did have, they had everything and, and I didn't get perfect value out of everything and so i i had the tools to win that game um but it was a real long game and just a couple of small mistakes here and there and and uh just wrong plays here and there and it just adds up over you know a 20 25 round game and so i lost that game but it wasn't the deck's fault i had the tools like i said and then there's that last game where i think it's a really really good matchup as well um, but like, like usually like watcher decks, we, there's so much stuff in this deck for watcher decks. Like, I don't think that they're going to win very often, um, at all. Like I don't, yeah, <laughs> you just, you kind of have everything for watcher decks. So like, that's, that's a really surprising loss. Like I, I, there's no reason for this deck to lose to a watcher deck, honestly, just misplaced by me. Um, but anyway, uh, and then that last one, the Zoe, Zoe Vi, another great matchup, but you can learn to, you can lose to round one Zoe. And I should have mulliganed better or differently because that's the only way I could lose. And they did have it. And they did have, like, and, you know, then they found the uh, spell shield for it and were able to level it up with some burst speeds to finish it out. Burst speed spells. So, again, I didn't I didn't put the deck in the best position to win. But if you really like control decks and you like karma, um, give this one a try. Now, we didn't do the most with karma here. It's just kind of like we just drew Lee Sin a whole lot more than karma. We drew... Probably four times as many Lee Sins would be my guess as Karma. When you know they're both three ofs, but we we kept on drawing Lee Sin and having Lee Sin champion spells that we would play and then draw more Lee Sins, and <laughs> we just never drew Karma. It was pretty funny, but that's uh, that's how it would be. Um, but uh, there we go. So um, 
that's going to be it though for karma lee sin all right so those of y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and leave those comments so we you know what you think of uh, karma spotlight night we got two more karma decks to go we got karma victor and karma lux gonna be two more uh, karma control decks that will be uh, coming up the next two games. But hopefully y'all enjoyed this Karma Lee Sin. Like I said, don't just necessarily look at the record. This deck is better <laughs> than that. It's a very good deck, um, you know? So it's, I, I would be very confident in playing this deck in ranked. Um, so if you like control, I recommend it. All right, but anyway, that's gonna be it here for Karma Lee Sin. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you for the next video.